Hello and welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here for episode number 98 of our 1816 Munich Football Manager 20 series. And in this episode we have the double finals for you. We have the DFB Pokal final against RB Leipzig. And then we have the Champions League final against Arsenal. And as you can see we are well, we're still champions because we were crowned ages ago. But we did lose if I get rid of the old non-competition here. Annoyingly, very good run. We lost 3-1 against Leipzig. I did rotate slightly, but a Hitzelsberger hat-trick really sort of crowned it for us. So we know the danger of Leipzig and we go to the Olymp Olympia Stadion, Berlin, which I believe is the, um, the where they play their... The, Let's have a look. No, well, I thought it was where they play there, where Germany play their international games. But that might be the Allianz, I guess. Um, and then we will go to the Millennium Stadium in Wales <laughs> for the Arsenal Champions League final game. And this is the team we're going to put out for today's game. We have Kregelmeier in goal, a back four of Bell, Lastra, Stoinov, and João Roberto. We have Becker and Luis Fernando in the midfield too. And Dari, Malay, Suarez all supporting Sheridan. And as you can see, Malay is coming back from injury. He's scheduled to return to full training tomorrow, but can play up to 50, 75 minutes of action. So we're starting him. And hopefully we're not going to get screwed over by this. And yeah, we, we, we face Leipzig and this is going to be painful if we, if we lose because we're still on to win everything that we're competing for. So hopefully we get two wins out of two, and let's get into this game. <sighs> Here we go. So they are playing a 4-4-2 again, and oh my god. <laughs> so nervous. It's an 8 o'clock kickoff against second place in the league this season. The win, there's a champions last season. <sighs> we do owe them, we owe them. Because we did literally just lose to them. So hopefully we can put in a good result here. And I am going to do a little bit of tactical tweaking straight away. I'm going to drop that defensive line down. Um, because that's what really screwed us over against them in the last game. And if you don't learn from games you lose, then you're not a good manager. So hopefully, hopefully we can learn from that. Sit a little bit deeper with the defensive line but still press them and close them down and get a win here. As they're running through already and it's 1-0. Oh my God. Oh, what's happened here, lads? What has happened here? Okay. Not a good start. <laughs> Pretty much the worst possible start we can have. We have a highlight it's in towards Andari. Sherdan's there. Sherdan surely scores. Oh, my God. Oh, it's cleared off the line by a defender. We always equalise straight away. Fernando to take the corner. We haven't been scoring enough of those recently. Becker now on the ball. Gets tackled but wins it back again. Cross comes in towards Suarez. But a header clear by Leipzig. Oh, come on, lads. Andari's injured. <laughs> crying out loud okay Alfredino comes on oh and they've got an injury as well okay so it was an injury to get their goal scorer is injured for god's sake could have could have got injured before he bloody scored it's time to get creative here and there is a throw in for Leipzig if we can win this back now it'd be great they're just sort of playing through us. The 4-4-2 really screwed me over. That's what I've what I found from this. Stoinov intercepts, goes back to Kregelmeier, who lumps it clear towards short that yeah, towards Sherdan, who does control it, but can't quite stop it from being taken off its foot. And Leipzig have the ball back again. And we need to close these guys down. Bell wins the ball back, but then loses possession again. Climbed forward. Hitzelberger has a shot that Kregelmeier saves. Malay with a deep free kick in towards Suarez. And Suarez equalises. As a Liverpool fan, right? <laughs> Saying that, 
just has a different meaning. But John Suarez has equalised. Oh, come on, lads. Let's push on now. All right, we're still in this game. It's what we weren't in the Bundesliga. So, Gerroberto now. Can he whip the ball in? In towards... Oh, my God. The, the, I don't know who was in towards shared. But Alfredino had a shot and it was blocked. Surely going into the back of the net. As the keeper and the other defender was nowhere to be seen. Becker now. The chance to lump it forward towards Suarez. That's a great control. And he's running forward in towards the box. Can he slot this home? Of course he can. And John Suarez <laughs> gives us the lead. Come on, lad. Oh, it was a beautiful assist by Becker. But Suarez did everything then. Wonderful control. And just keeps running and slots it into that far corner. Opens up his body beautifully. And we take the lead in the final. Malay now lets the uh, Leipzig player clear and we back to Craig Olmai who chips into Fernando, into Becker, into Jaroberto. We're just marauding down this right hand side. Jaroberto does get tackled there, he needs to get back in position. But we are pressing quite high up here, it's what you love to see. Keeping, keeping them with their defenders, keeping them pressurised. Now we're in a corner here. Can they get out? They can. They've sort of beaten the press here. And we need to make sure we don't concede a second. Craig Olmeyer with a good save. Long range effort. It's a save you expect him to make. Gerroberto into Malay here. Finds Suarez in the box. Into Sherdan. Who has a shot blocked. Ball comes straight back. I tell you what, since we've since they've had that injury, and we've had to change as well for one of ours. It's all looking, up, looking like it's coming up Munich. And the fans have been fantastic for us. They're the ones who really play, pay our wage, got there and win the trophy for them. Lads, how are you not encouraged by that? I would be so fired up by saying, let's win this trophy for the fans. And we start the second half with a one goal lead, narrow lead against Leipzig. Come on, lads. Let's do it for the fans. We have a corner straight away, Alfredino to take. Whips it in towards Stoyanov. And Stoyanov, finally, after a long time not getting a goal, gets a goal and it is 3-1 Munich in the final. <sighs> That's it, a bit of daylight between the teams now. Fantastic. Oh, this is going well. Malay is definitely going to need to come off here. Frick with a free kick for Leipzig. Stoyanov with his big old head on it. And they are actually through us here. Krogelmann is forced to make a save. Goes up for a corner on this near side. Frick to take again. And Stoinov yet again. If it's not Stoinov getting the header, it's Lastra. They're always there. I think Malay will have to come off here, which means we're going to tinker with it slightly. I'm going to do it now. So we're going to have to put Becker up there. Luis Fernandez goes there. And then we bring on Manaz, I think. Yeah, bring on Manaz. Do that. I think Manoz is technically a better player than um, Burgord. At least he's showing that to be at the moment in time. Sherdan with a chance then to get a fourth. Becker with a shot goes high and wide. We have made that that substitution for a tireless midfielder is, is Manoz. 75th minute. It's all going well. It's all going well currently. Andari does it, the Andari injury does mean he's probably going to be out against uh, Arsenal as well, which is unfortunate. <sighs> Come on, lads. we're going well. 82nd minute, throwing the nods into Berg, uh, into Jaroberto, Sorry, goes out wide, switches the play to Bell. Can he get across? Any can, but it is cleared. We win the ball back straight away. No, we don't actually, because Manoz decides he doesn't want to get involved. Hitzelsberger now with a chance. And Stoinov will stop that from going anywhere near the goal. And now Manoz with another throwing down this near side. Let's not lose possession here. Oh my god, Stoinov, you are one hell of a lucky boy. On a yellow card as well. Last ditch tackle. Jesus, got that wrong. It's a definite sending off. As Luis Roberto Fernando just smashes it towards goal. Makes a save about the keeper and he has time to take the corner now in towards Matt Bell. Manoz Fernando now into the penalty area. Has a shot. It's a corner. 
and I'm going to possibly make a substitution. I think. Yeah, we'll get we'll get we'll get Chernov on for Matt Bell, for Matty Bell. And I think, judging by the time, I'm also going to do this. Oh my God, I don't know why I don't just do this automatically because you can set up like um, in match like routines that you do at a certain time if you're winning or whatever. But I feel like it depends on if you're dominating game. Dominating the game, you don't really want to um, sit back. And their keeper has just made a. David De Gea-esque stop with his foot. That was incredible. He flicked out his leg and somehow managed to get enough on it to put it past the post. Jesus Christ, that was fantastic. And there we go. We have won the DFB puck out. We've done the double. The domestic double has been completed. Now, can we go on and win the Champions League and get the treble on the CV? Well, to be fair, it would be quadruple. We won the Super Cup, so let's 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 get into that game. There you go. Do the double and cup glory. That is fantastic. Right, let's get into the next game. Before we get into the next game, I would just like to point out this little message here: eighteen sixty Munich manager please is bored in DFB Pokal win. 1860 Munich board have declared that they are satisfied to have finally won the competition after so many barren years with their last success coming in 1964. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In further announcement, Borna keen to impress on um, Coton that celebrations are kept to a minimum in order, in order to the club focus on fully on future challenges. So, essentially, they want us to win the Champions League now. Um, let's see if we do it. We are back for the Champions League final against Arsenal at the Millennium Stadium and this is the team that will face Arsenal today. We have Craig Olmeyer in goal, back four of Bell, Lastra, Stoinov and João Roberto. Becker and Luis Fernando in the midfield too with Alfredino Malay and Suarez supporting Sherdan up front. And hopefully we can just do what we what we did to um to Leipzig in the last game and just you know just just coast through, get a nice easy win. Or we could do what we did to Chelsea last year and spank them 5 0. One of the two, I'll take the two. Um, there are some notable people on the bench, um, including two youth players. We've got um, this guy, Rennie Baum, and also we've got this guy, Federic Dunkler, on the bench, purely because we can name 12 subs and Andari is injured and. Chacon is unregistered for the club competition. So I thought I'd throw in some youth players because they don't have to be registered if they're below a certain age. So they're just being on the bench for us. Why, why not? They're not going to come on. Squad number will be given to one player in the team. Let's give them 42. And yeah, let's get into this game. Hopefully we can win here. They're playing 4-4-1-1. Harvey Elliott's in their team. Saliba's in their team. Oh my god. <laughs> we have played Arsenal before. Did, were they in our group? No way were they in our group. I feel like I've played them before this season. I expect you to come back with a trophy. I do. I, don't, I, I was debating whether the time was for the fans again, but they didn't give a shit last time. So let's just do the. Old substitution. That's a very defensive back four. Jesus. Right. And when was the last time we played them? It wasn't in our group, was it? Yeah. It was in our group. We played them in a group. I don't know what group we were in. Group C. <laughs> We've played them in Group C. Did we beat them? 2-0 and then we lost 2-1. Okay. This is going to be a tough game then. Very tough game. Let's get back to the match. As we kick off from right to left in our home kit. Arsenal also in their home kit. A little bit of a clash with the white. Um, but enough for us to play, I guess. 
if ours is white and black, theirs is white and red, or, or red and white, I, sh I, sh I should, should suggest. As Luis Fernandez gets in a first slide tackle of the day. One minute gone, love to see it. Sessions evening out. Nothing really doing currently. 12 minutes gone. There we go. First shot of the game comes to us. As we have a chance to go clear. I feel like I need to do this. It worked better for us in the Leipzig game. But I don't know how Arsenal are going to play. They're going to play on the counter surely. So having a back line like that. As there's a chance. But is a, there is an offside in there for Arsenal. They have a free kick that. It's very far out and he goes for it, but it goes just wide, hits the um, side netting. Stoinov is able to bring the ball forward. Malay now had a good game last game. Hopefully he can do bits again as Becker doesn't get puts that ball first and Marquez runs forward back to her into De, De, Maia, De Maio. Saliba now all the way back to Balbuena. Hewitt now in the middle of the park into Jakobsen. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm just guessing that that's how you pronounce them it could be Jacobson to be fair there's a chance that comes in from Sabatier <laughs> I don't know I'm guessing he's French I'm, I'm, I'm guessing and, and Jacobson I'm guessing he's like um, Nordic as there's a chance for Arsenal with a free kick and we have conceded oh lord we have conceded and Jonathan Marquez's 19th goal of the season. Sort of puts a cap them amongst the pigeons here. And oh my god, we need to we need to we need to get better. Arsenal still not yet to have a shot on target, yet seem to be one nil up game. I don't understand what's gone on there. We need to clear this ball better, Jesus Christ. I said something about Suarez then, I don't know what it was. Error prone maybe? No, let's put it back. What is it? A lot of mistakes, yeah. 30th minute, he's not coming off yet. Jesus Christ. They come back at us now. It's time to get a bit more serious here. Matt Bell needs to stop this cross coming in. Header over the bar. Come on, lads. Come on, do something. Suarez is having a piss poor game. Let's show some passion here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go positive as Fernando to take the corner in towards Lastra, but they had a clear. There's a chance for a counter on here. We need to shut this down. We haven't Harvey Elliott now. We know what he can do. Cross towards back post, Jaroberta, and Suarez has a chance to run forward. Counter now on our on their counter. Suarez into the box, has a shot. Oh, Suarez, please. We've conceded first yet again. And this second half needs to be better. It needs to be. <sighs> Gerberto's lost possession. Aggressively. Show me something else. I'm not... For God's sake, Sherlock, I'm not happy with, the, with your performance. <sighs> this could be cruel. We're on positive. I am going to put that back up, actually. Yeah, I'll go more expressive. Room from positions a little bit more, I guess. <sighs> Jesus. There goes Jaroberto, lumps it into the crowd. <sighs> Come on, lads. Come on. Come on, let's do this. We need to see a highlight. Not for Arsenal. Jakobsen now with a throw in into a story of that. Head is clear. Malay finds Bell now. Alfredun and we have a chance to run forward. There's a hell of a lot of players back for Arsenal. Alfredun beats one man. Beats a second actually. Beats a third. Alfredun, please score. He's right at the keeper. He's been three minutes right at the keeper. Oh, game please. Malay is having a piss poor game actually. And at the end of this highlight I think he's coming off. Unless he does something fantastic here. So many bodies back. Gerroberto now. The chance to get the ball in the box. Suarez with a shot. After doing a pick this ball back up. Hope he can get straight back in. Matty Bow now. <sighs> Blocked by Harvey Elliott. And they clear it. 
And Lastro with a chance to put the ball back towards their goal, but he goes back to Kragelmeyer, and the highlight does seem to be continuing here. Lastro to Luis Fernando. Back to Lastro. Fernando again. Loses possession. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. 70 is now running forward. If this goes in, Kragelmeyer's fantastic. <laughs> right. I think that. Sketmanoz on the pitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Suarez on 6.2. Oh, I cannot bring him off. And I'm going to bring Nathan on. Come on, lads. Come on. Demand more here. Oh, There's another highlight for Arsenal. We just can't seem to get him down, but Nathan's won the ball back. And there's a chance for him to run forward here. Will he be the Champions League hero? Oh, keep him on just to push it wide, I think. And then Arsenal do clear. Come on, lads. Bow with the throw in into Becker now. Tries to find Nathan, but they, they clear. And there's a chance for them to counter. And they are doing it so far. Oh, Suarez puts a tackle in. This is going to be cruel. Sorry, I've clear the ball. Not for a corner. Please, not for a corner. Arsenal now with Sevilla to take. <sighs> Free header in the box. Oh, my God. We're being outplayed. Come on, there's 20 minutes remaining. We need to do something here. We've had a lot of shots, a lot on target. Half chances, clear cut chances. We just can't seem to find the back of the net. Alfredino now out wide. Cuts back to Matt Bell. Cross comes in. Nathan's there. And Nathan equalises! Come on! His 10th goal of the season. Didn't we buy him in January? I... <laughs> oh my God, this kid. Come on, let's push on now. We've equalised yet again in the final. Come on, lads. Time to get creative now. Suarez is injured. Oh, my Lord. Hernan, you're going to have to come on. Oh, please. Oh, I cannot believe Suarez just got injured. There's a corner now, 86th minute. If this goes in, this is going to ruin us. Cross comes in. Is it offside? It's not. Oh no, William Saliba has scored. Oh, we flapped. Who's flapped? Who has flapped that? Manaz. Oh no. I'm speechless. We got beaten from a corner. That first half performance really killed us. They had three shots on target. Jesus. Well... I'm far from pleased with that result. That is getting. We don't end on a high note. Oh, we have still got the Club World Cup to come. But that is painful. And Arsenal lift the Champions League. Which, have they won it before? Um, nope, that was the first time they'd won it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> we've lived, oh my God, we've given Arsenal their first ever Champions League. That hurts me. Oh, they're fourth in the Premier League as well. Oh, we beat Chelsea. <sighs> Jesus. That is painful. But yeah, we have got the Club World Cup to come. I don't know when it is. Actually, here we go. It's the 20th of the 6th, and we're against New York Red Bulls. 
in the clear. Jesus Christ, there's, there's a quarterfinal, there's a semi-final. There's... Right. We will come back at some point. We've got two episodes to go before episode 100. 100 will be the final. Um, so I think we'll come back for maybe is it is it is it just a, is it one legged affair? Hopefully it is. We'll we'll come back for the later stages or the knockout stages of the Club World Cup. Actually, let's have a look at the groups. Who who are here? Bayern Munich are in here. United. Oh my God, we might actually not win this. Arsenal here. Liverpool. Chelsea. Crap it out. Okay, so we'll come back for the later stages of this fully expanded Club World Cup. If you have been like, if you have enjoyed that episode, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. If you do end up subscribing, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything on the channel. But until next time, goodbye. <laughs>